Welcome, ladies, gentlemen, on... Uh, you know what? Hold on a second. Welcome, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between to the Movie Squib channel. I'm your host, Charlie, and today is my face reveal. I gotta be honest with you, I was not going to do a face reveal. And the reason why is because I'm kind of shy, I don't like being in front of the cameras. But the reality is, is that with that mask on, I just wasn't able to communicate properly. And I didn't like recording the audio and video separate, so here I am. For the longest time, I've wanted to create a channel like this, and I never had the intention of showing my face. Originally, I was just gonna do video clips and I was gonna talk over it. No matter what I would do, whenever I would create my videos, they just didn't sound the way I wanted them to. It didn't feel like they had any emotion to them. So, I just decided I'm gonna show my face. I want my channel to grow. I wanna continue doing this. I love talking about movies. Movies, television shows. I know I haven't really done any television shows lately. I've only done movies. And I've only done like one a week for the past couple of weeks, which is not a lot. I'd actually wanna do more than that. And I think showing my face will allow me to do that. I noticed that my videos where I did talk live with the mask, it just wasn't that good. It, it sounded horrible and if it was me i wouldn't want to listen to myself behind that mask i always have said that i didn't want to show my face and and here i am here i am showing my stupid fucking face i figured that since i'm doing a face reveal i can tell you a little bit about myself so if you haven't heard from my accent already i'm originally from new jersey i was born and raised there i lived there for about 30 years if you ever been to new jersey or you know somebody from New Jersey just asked them to list you the top three worst cities and I lived in one of them. Then afterwards during high school I moved to central Jersey and it was much better there. Um, I didn't have to run away from shootings and worried about getting kidnapped or getting beaten up by a gang of kids. It was so much better. I uh, joined the military like right after high school. Actually I joined the military during high school. I actually joined up when I was 16. I went to basic training when I was 17 and I celebrated my 18th birthday in basic training, which was, I was there during the polypropylene phase. So it was a polypropylene beating. We used to have these polypropylene pads and when you rolled them up nice and tight, it was like getting hit with a baseball bat. I did the military for a while, nothing crazy. And, uh, and then I just worked retail jobs all of my life. And if you've worked in retail, then you know that it sucks. Like there is nothing great about working in retail. You know how you can tell that somebody has worked in retail is because they'll tell you that when they wake up in the morning, they either immediately have a pit in their stomach or they're just thinking about a million different excuses of how to call out of work. I've been watching movies since I was five years old. I'm one of those kids that had HBO at that age and we were restricted. So I remember one of my first horror movies being Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2. I think I watched that at the age of seven. I had terrible nightmares. I was afraid to go downstairs in the kitchen slash living room because it was always dark and scary so I think for an entire year I just refused to go down there alone but I've loved these movies ever since I I've been a tv and movie junkie all of my life I guess it's a little bit pathetic to say but it's my hobby full disclosure I don't have any type of film critic knowledge I don't study anything about film writing or cinematography or anything like that. I just love talking about movies. I love going to see movies. I love talking about them. I'm not going to pretend to be some intellectual. I don't have any type of deep analysis. I'm just going to talk to you as someone who has a love of movies. I'm not going to inject woke bullshit or anti-woke bullshit or culture wars or anything like that. I just want to talk to you guys 
Like we used to talk about movies in like the late 90s and the early 2000s where we would just talk about the movie and we didn't inject all of that other bullshit into it. That's why I wanted to create this channel. I started watching my favorite content creators and they start to get into the anti-woke and woke shit and the cultural bullshit. I love those content creators still. I watch all of them. They're, they're hilarious. They're very good. I mean, look, I'm one person doing all of this. So my video and my audio is not going to look as good as theirs. And I'll continue watching them. But I just want to talk about movies normally. I just want to talk about them based on their own merits. And that's it. This is the way I'm gonna provide content from now on. I feel like it's more authentic. I feel like I can express myself more. I could talk about these movies in a much more organic and fun way and not feel so robotic. So yeah, this is what you're gonna get. If you like looking at this mug, hit the like, hit subscribe. If you see this face and you're like, oh, fuck that, then, you know, fuck off. Go, go somewhere else. Plenty of other handsome content creators with their hair done and their... I don't know. What the fuck am I talking about? I'm an idiot. Bye-bye, guys.